Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I did not. I don't know what's been going on with me lately. I've been having such a hard time falling asleep in the night. So, uh, and the other night I woke up for a few hours in the middle of the night. It's not something I recommend, especially not when you have a young one that, that needs your full attention during the days. Uh, however, I am very, very grateful for my in-laws. They are so generous with everything for my apartment. Just got a bed and two lamps, or four lamps actually, and uh, uh, my um, brother-in-law and sister-in-law gave me a table for the couch. Like It's just like enormous generosity that I feel very, very grateful for. Um, I also feel very, very grateful for um, for the apartment. It's stunning. It's really beautiful and uh, it's giving me a peace of mind. Um, I'm also very, very grateful for um, the weather, although right now I think it's a little too hot, uh, but it's stunning. It's beautiful, sunny weather now, and we're going to one of my oldest friends, or my oldest friends actually, that I'm still hanging out with, um, for a barbecue tonight. Uh, so uh, Gemma is playing with our neighbor girl, who is a really good friend with the oldest boy. And they are always having such a blast. It was so cute yesterday evening when we were driving home after dinner. She was like just talking about her. Um, and, and that's a very cute thing she started with now. She's like, you know, starting to talk about her brothers, how much she misses them when they're away, and um, grandma and grandpa and the cousins. You know, it's just so cute. Um, We're gonna do some yoga. Get down on your sit bones and straighten your back up. Start taking control over your breath. On the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. We're gonna um, do the breath of fire. We do it by pushing our belly button towards the spine, quick and hard. Inhale, two strong.
very good job we're gonna do the hip crowd in here for. Which direction? I've been uh, watching, I've been like longing for the, the new Barbie movie to come out. Um, I love Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, both of them. I think they're brilliant actors that she choose very nice roles most of the time. And, uh, and Barbie was my favorite doll when I was ch a kid. And um, and yeah, I can't wait to see the movie. And I saw a clip from it, you know, where, where like, you know, the foot goes from, um, you know, this uh, high heel position to flat. And everyone's like, yeah. Uh, and then uh, she's now like having a cold shower. And like, you know, all the things are like, just not functioning the way she's used to. And um, I find it absolutely hilarious. We are going to fold our right leg and we're gonna give our feet some massage because what these Barbie trailers has um, done for me is take me back to when I was in my 20s, strolling, you know, like casually every day in like 10, 10 centimeters heels, like this high. I was like always walking around in those. Um, and I remember after 25, you know, I started to just do it like when I went out partying because I started to be in a little bit of pain. Uh, but before that, like I did it casually every day. I know I remember how the one New Year's resolution that was walking in high heels every day for a full year. And that one I, I kept, you know, I didn't keep, you know, not smoking and other things that I promised myself for New Year's. But uh, the consequence is like a very devilish halux valgus that makes it really uncomfortable for me to walk in heels now. Uh, I am practicing it a little bit because I want to walk in heels for my wedding. So um, I am doing it a little, uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Petit appetit. Um, We are going to uh, just lean forward here in a hip opener so you can push down your knee a little bit, flex your foot and breathe. But I, I feel a very strong um, longing for making my nails very Barbie-ish uh, for the premiere of the movie. We'll see if I do it or not. A little ladybug hey but the golden one i don't like or, or a yellow one i don't know if that's the kind one uh, we're gonna switch our feet so give your uh, right one a nice massage
and we're going to stretch. I was also watching this really, you know, uh, sad, sad story about Whitney Houston yesterday. Um, and as, you know, a recovering addict, I find it, uh, when I see, you know, a movie or something, you know, about an addict getting, you know, totally beaten up by the disease and, and you know, passing away in from it I know how common it is and I just feel so enormously blessed from from you know the one day at a time um, for 10 years have been freed from it and um, I remember it was like a lot from LA you know it was 2010 I lived there and this was you know her last years in life and it just recognized all these places and, you know all these um, environments um, that she too was in. I obviously wasn't a big star like she was, but um, how also like you know an abusive relationship can can really fuck you up in the worst of ways and, um, and kind of I remember how I was like pushing away the people that genuinely cared for me when I was an addict because I didn't you know I, I didn't like myself I didn't think I deserved the love so instead of of nourishing it and taking it in I pushed it away and I was drawn to you know people who are just using me and um, uh, like really really destructive stuff so I feel enormously grateful to be freed from that and, and live the life I do now let's do a short meditation. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're gonna spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this very moment. Om Paramatmane Namaha Sri Patanjala Yoga Darsharam Atasamati padaha Hatta yoga nushasanam Yoga chitta vritti nirodaha Tata drashtu sarube vashtanam Vrti sarubya mitanastra Vrtaya panjataya Klishta klishta Slowly come back to the room where you are. We're gonna finish this class together with three shanti. Place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to stop. Shanti, shanti. Shanti Place your palms to your forehead, feel the same good thoughts through the day To your mouth, feel to speak the truth And to your heart, feel to follow your heart And to be kind to yourself and to other people Namaste Thank you so much for today Remember to go up and give I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow